we're going to check out some of the best design resources that every developer should bookmark. And this was a really cool article I read on Dev.2 by one of my favorite users, Theme Selection. In there, he's compiled all of these. And these are things that will make your website go from good to great. If you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Our first resource here is a UI library. It's called 100 Daily UI Free. And what it is, is a compilation of Figma libraries and products and elements and screens and all sorts of cool stuff so that you get an idea for colors and components and shapes that you can use straight away. It's made by Jan here and it has a free commercial and personal use license and you can get started with it immediately. You can support the creator by actually donating to him here as well. But this is a really cool one because a lot of UIs can essentially be hard to create when you don't have something in mind. And this just gives you some inspiration and some ideas and gets you started for that. Our next resource here is for icons and it's called Icon 8. It's a website which gives you a little bit more interesting options when you're looking for maybe a vector illustration or a design. If we take a look at their website, it actually looks really cool. It's got a nice little search here. So we could search for say communication and we'll get lots of different types of styles and icons that really relate to that tag. And it doesn't just do illustrations. It does stock photography, it does music, it even does emojis or AI generated faces. So it's another resource that really makes you create websites that are a little bit more interesting rather than just using bootstrap icons, which I know that a lot of us end up using, or maybe even just font awesome. Our next resource here is actually brought to us by a huge company called Envision App. If you haven't heard of them before, they're doing a lot of stuff when it comes to workflows and prototypes and UI, but they also provide a heap of design resources. And this is stuff like maybe UI kits. If for example, you wanted to build out an app, say for maybe gym and exercise, they've got you covered with a full UI kit here. Or for example, if you're doing food and recipes, they've got a design for that too. They even have mockups for things like the iPhone or maybe dashboards, or if you're using Material UI or iOS 12 to create an app design, you've got that covered too. They've got icons and lots of other stuff. They're really cool and definitely worth checking out because essentially it doesn't cost anything and you've got those resources ready to go. Our fourth resource here is called Uplabs, and they do things a little bit different because they focus on really high quality content. This means that when they're doing UI, whether you're trying to create a website or an application or even icons, you want to do the very best job. You want to get the best resources out there. And this is where they come into play. They both have free and paid resources that are focused for developers and designers made by developers and designers. And they curate these into a group where you get the best of the very best. And this isn't just maybe one screen or a couple of UI components. This is everything ready to go. And this is why it's so cool. You can definitely see the difference in quality when you jump onto uplabs.com and just have a look at some of the UI kits they have available. So it's something that I'll probably check out in the future when I'm building an app and I just need some ideas or maybe I just need a design ready to go. This next one of mine is quite a favorite. It's called Undraw. It's an open source illustration website where you get a vast majority of different varied types of illustrations that you can download directly as SVG or PNG. But what's really cool is just the scope and quality of these. If we take a look, we get a varied amount of different situations where maybe you want to open a folder or a document, or you want to show an avatar or process. There's naming conventions for all of this. And you can search something like postage. And if we do, we get a number of icons here. Oh, let's type in post actually. Uh, we'll get a number of icons here or essentially illustrations that represent this sort of a tag. But what's more is that we can even change the color. We can select a color of green or red or blue and all of these update accordingly. And then we can simply click here and download it immediately to use in our project. And that's really awesome. Now, depending on what tools you use to create your UI, you might use different resources. Now, if you're using a lot of sketch, there is a resource out there that comes with lots of pre-made wireframes, UIs and icons called Sketch App Sources. This is our sixth item here as a resource. And we take a look at it. It essentially comes with pre-made 
UIs, icons, wireframes, stuff for the web, iOS, material UI, all sorts of stuff. And if we have a look at some of these, we can probably just select one. We can see how many views and downloads it has. It's got some tags. We can click to download it directly. We don't have to go through any of that extra stuff, like signing up our email address. It just downloads the stuff immediately for us to be able to use. And that's pretty awesome as well. Next up is a resource for doing maybe backgrounds or just adding a little bit of flair into your designs. And this is called Patterns, spelt with a few extra A's. What it is, is a collection of beautiful vector format, sort of shapes and repeating patterns that you can utilize in your next website. And they work on any platform. So whether you're on Sketch or Figma, Adobe XD, Illustrator, or even just a document, you'll be able to download a lot of these patterns and start using them. If we take a look at their website, we can see that you can immediately click here to download, or you can read a little bit more about them and what kind of stuff you get. There's 22 curated patterns here that you can utilize with different shapes and colors and emotions and you can really just pick and design whatever you need but it's a good place to go if you do need a background pattern or something in that aspect that you want to apply to your website to make it look a little bit better our next free resource here is called draw kit and there are a bunch of illustrations and icons which are hand drawn that you can use for your next website if we take a look at their actual website currently, we can see what we mean by these. These are quite nice looking examples of different illustration packs that you can use. Here's one for transportation. And we can see just that hand drawn feel where everything looks very polished and very unique and also very high quality at the same time. If we jump onto their icons, we also get a lot of line type icons here at the top, as well as other types. So for example, we could select here for education and we get a bunch here for education that we could use. We don't just get the outlines and the solids, but we also get color versions of them with a bit of gradient or maybe flat colors. So there's a lot of options in here and all of these are free and ready for you to be able to use for your next website too. Many Pixels is another great resource. While their focus is to essentially focus on businesses that maybe don't want to hire a graphics designer, so they do the designs themselves, they also have a great resource here for illustrations. And this resource, if we take a look, gives us very similar stuff to what we see in Unsplash, where we can pull up royalty-free illustrations, we can select a color or a theme, and from that we'll be able to download an SVG or a PNG. And these are all very high quality examples. There's 24 pages of different tags. I'm gonna select marketing as an example. We can see that we get a number of marketing stuff here for like social media or Facebook posts or emails, and all of these look pretty cool. I'm going to select maybe a better shade of green here just so that it looks a little bit more friendly or we could even pick black and hopefully black just looks good too. But it's another example of resources like Unsplash that I already use and love. Our next resource here is called Humans with a few extra A's. And this is a website that provides you with illustrations of people and they come in a mix and match of different shapes and sizes and positions. You can actually customize a lot in here. You can customize what they're wearing, what colors they have, where they're standing, what their hairstyle is like. You can customize pretty much anything you need. So that way you can actually fit them into your website to do whatever interaction you might want them to. So that maybe you want them to promote a call to action or a phone number and pointing in a certain direction. You'll be able to do all of that. And I think that's a pretty cool resource. And I really like this one. I'm going to have to test it out one day for my own website and see how I can essentially incorporate this one. And if you don't want a whole human, you can just grab their face. Avatars is another resource that does just this. It also has a few extra A's. And if we take a look at their website here, we see that we get a wide variety of different options. You can download the library and that'll go straight into Sketch as well. You can also try out their web editor. And in here, we'll be able to select what type of person we want. So we can grab maybe a winter hat with glasses, maybe blue as the style. We can customize the shirt to be a hoodie and now it looks like an Apple fan. 
And if you're designing a hero image, then there's also Free Illustration, which is a website that does free background images for awesome landing pages. They've got a number of high quality backgrounds that you can start using for your next website. I know that I always have trouble creating good hero images. Sometimes the image just doesn't look right or I'm not getting the right style. Whereas here we get a vast collection of essential different styles, different colors, different use cases that we can start using in our next website immediately. And it even gives us an example of what the content might look like if you start putting it in. They've got a free version and a high quality purchase version too, if you want to go down that route. Freebie Sketch is another resource here that provides free sketch designs, wireframes and illustrations if you're using Sketch app. I'm on Windows, so this might not work for me. But for those people who are, for example, on Mac and are using Sketch, they'll be able to jump in here and grab some of the free and premium resources that they have available. And these are all sorts of stuff. Even like for an app kit for maybe food. It's nice and easy. It's pulled here in through Notion. And it even has some stuff here for Tailwind CSS as well. So that's pretty cool. This next one is actually a collection of illustrations from all around the world from some really cool designers. And it's called Blush. It has free customizable illustrations with the Figma plugin. If we take a look at their website, we see just how much content they have here. They have the option to select different artists or different collections, and you can pull out the kind of designs that you like here. If we select this one here for a poster, we can download this one as a small PNG, or if we get a premium version, we can obviously get larger or SVGs, but we can also customize it too. And that makes it a lot more flexible depending on what you want. You can also check out different artists in here. And depending on the style that you like, maybe you pick one that essentially has a type of maybe icon that you want to use for your website. So if you're doing this one here, you've got a number of beverages and these are really cute, cool little icons that you might want to use for your website. Or you can do a different style here like this one where you've got a number of different people doing different stuff. We've got some paid content here as well as some free content. Now, obviously I'll be going for the free content, but if you do want to go for the paid option, then there is a tool here to sign up and go for a premium plan. The plans do have a bit of payment here, but it's only $12 a month, which isn't too much. IRA Designs is an open source gradient illustration collection by Tim. And they come with a number of things here that work with SVGs and PNGs and AI files. We've got different characters and objects and shapes that we can use. And they've got a cool number of positions here so we can move them about how we want. We can also pick out what kind of colors they have. So that way you can sort of get them to work with the style of your website. And they're ready to use so you can actually click on any type of these. I'm going to grab, for example, this laptop as an SVG. In the future, we could use this as part of maybe a hero banner or something like that. But it's just another resource similar to Unsplash that just looks a little bit better and gives you a bit more tools when you're designing your next website. Our next resource here is UI Design Daily. And there are free open source UI design resources that give you lots of little components and little things you can use for maybe drop downs or maybe landing pages or even this one here for web courses. I actually like this one here. Uh, this one is join the Traversing Media mailing list with uh, web courses and developments. It's got some really nice colors here. You can download the file. And when you do, you get a nice sketch file here and it's got tags as well. So this is a really cool one. Even if you're just looking for a bit of inspiration or ideas of how you might want to do a different type of component, because sometimes when you're stuck, you just don't know what you're trying to do. And let's see, we can also do little filters by tags here. So I'm going to select breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, and we're going to see how a few of them are designed. I like this one here. And this one is just nice and simple. And we can download that one and that comes in as a sketch file as well. I can't open sketch files on Windows, so I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. But otherwise, if you do, then you can jump on Mac and you can use this one too. UI Space is also very similar. If we go to their website, they have a number of different components and icons and screens. The good thing about this is that you have a free and a paid version and they don't just do sketch. You can actually grab one and it's a PSD. So we've got this one here for a social media banner. And when I select download, it does come as a PSD. 
Uh, and otherwise, if we have a look here, they also do fonts and icons. They also have illustrations. They've got direct sketch items that you can use for your next design, as well as scripts, I guess. Maybe these are JavaScripts. Let's have a quick look. Uh, this one is a CSS toolkit, but this one over here is Flexbox toggle. And if I click download on that, what does it come with? Let's take a quick look. So that'll be done in just four, three, two, one. And it goes to a code pen. Oh, that's really cool. So this is a quick resource with some HTML and some CSS that automatically updates as I click on it. That's really cool. I like this one. So yeah, this is uispace.net. Definitely worth checking out. Um, I'd definitely like to check out a few of these more scripted examples because I can see myself using them if I wanted to create something. If you download other ones here, maybe they come in as a zip with a PSD and a PNG that you can also utilize as well. And our last one here is called Open Doodles. And it's a free resource of illustrations of different types of people and shapes and stuff that you might want to use for your next website. There is really cool stuff here from illustrations to examples to even some compositions that you can use. And these are very creative and unique. And you can probably update the colors depending on what you want, but it'll just make your website pop out a little bit more when the client asks for it. A big thanks to Theme Selection for this article. He has some really good ones that pop up on Dev.2. So if you guys ever have a chance, check out his website at themeselection.com and maybe have a look at some of his admin templates or freebies. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.